Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. We've got issue number 32 today and we're making the Sawtooth Star. With issue number 32, you'll receive your embroidery threads for Mrs. Tabitha Twitchett, which we won't be needing. You'll also receive your Midnight Floral Fabric, the Pink Floral, and the Silver Spot. If you look at the Sawtooth Star, you will see that there is a large pink floral square in the centre of the square. I'm not going to be using the pink floral, I'm going to be using my licensed fabric of Peter Rabbit in the centre. This one looks a little tricky, let's get cracking! To make the Sawtooth Star, you will need to either access your cutting guide at the back where you are going to be photocopying the templates and cutting them out or you can access your previously used templates. We've got template number B from the double four patch, template D from the whirlwind square, template F from the Trafalgar square and the A square this template is from the double four patch as well. We're going to be cutting out one of the A templates. We've got eight of these F templates. We're going to double over the fabric and initially cut four. We've also got the B template. We're going to need four of these. And the D template, we will also need four of these. The largest fabric we have here is the silver spot. We're going to be cutting out the B and the D from the silver spot, so I'm going to be really careful and economical with my placement of the templates. It's time to cut. I've cut out all of the pieces from the silver spot. I'm now going to be cutting out four of the F template and the fabric, the midnight floral, is folded over. So we will end up with eight of these. So I'm finished cutting out all of the pieces for our sawtooth star block. I've finished with the template pieces and I'm going to lay out my patch in front of me. So we're ready to sew our patch together. I've read um, the guide and it is a bit more of an advanced patch to sew together. If you look at it, it is in bands of three. We're going to sew them into strips. First strip, middle strip and bottom strip. I'm going to do this by sewing these midnight floral pieces to this center triangle piece and then sewing the two silver spot squares at the end. That will give us one strip. I'm then going to sew these two to this piece and these two to this piece 
with these two pieces being sewn to the middle piece. So then I will have our middle band. I'm going to do the same as I did with the top. I'm going to start with this top piece. Wish me luck. I've also got my iron ready to go and also my ironing towel next to me. It's really important to press the seams before you progress onto the next step in the sewing. Let's get sewing! So I've completed the first band in our sawtooth star patch and this one is at the top. I'm now going to work on the middle band. sections of the middle band have been completed. I'm now going to sew them onto our centre square to complete the middle section. Our middle band is complete, so we've got the top section, the middle. I'm now going to work on our third bottom section. So it's time to sew our sawtooth star together. We've got our top band, our middle band and the bottom band. I'm going to stitch the top band to the middle band first. Our three bands have been sewn together and I have to say this is the most accurate patch that I've made to date. It's the first time that I've made this sawtooth star so I'm pretty pleased with myself. It's time to pack the machine away and I'll show you my results. So here we have our completed sawtooth star with Peter Rabbit featuring in the middle as he is the star of our quilt.
I have to say this was a little bit tricky but if you do it in a sequential way it is quite easy. I'm really happy how this turned out. All of the points seem to meet really well at the corners of the square in the middle. The only dodgy bit is this bit here but that doesn't matter. I really like it. I hope you had success making your sawtooth star. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time when we begin making our Mrs. Tiggy Winkle applique character square. Until next time, bye!